Wood burning really came very much in the floor in the last two or three years um, due to the price of oil and gas and electricity. So therefore people become more aware of the cost of heating etc. And um, with the thoughts more into renewable energies, people started to look at various sources and wood burning became quite dominant. So therefore people are looking at wood burning far more seriously and from the efficiency point of view. Previously people have burnt wood on ingle nooks and that sort of thing where there have only been sort of 10-15% efficiencies. Um, but now we, you know, we've got wood burning stoves here and we're getting up to sort of 93-95% efficiency levels. Uh, which means you're getting far more heat for, your, for your, um, the wood that you're actually burning. Well they all operate in a different way, they're all different burning technologies. This unit here is from Tomwork, is really the next generation of uh, wood burning stoves, it really is tomorrow's world. We lit this at quarter past nine this morning and it's now what, twenty past twelve. There's still a fire in there and then all we put on there was three or four locks, we haven't refueled it at all. It's called a storage stove, it actually stores about seventy percent of the heat that the logs actually produce and then the fire actually burns for about three, three hours. And then after that three hours, the heat that's stored in here will then dissipate over you know, six or 12 hours, depending on the size of stove. Um, but it'll only ever give out about three kilowatts of heat. So for an en energy efficient house that doesn't need 12 kilowatts of heat, these sort of stoves really are where wood burning will be going. So you can imagine two fires a day and you can heat the whole house. Um, that varies, you know, that is different from say this stove here, which is you know, a space heater, um, something like this, in fact my own daughter's got one, um, you know, it will radiate out something like about six to seven kilowatts of heat on maximum, um, but my daughter burns about three or four logs an evening, that's all she ha actually burns. So it's not hungry for fuel, unlike some of the older type stoves and certainly open fires where you need almost a full time <coughs> stoker to actually keep it going. And then if we, that one there incidentally is about 80, 82% efficient. But this one encapsulates most of the burning technologies available on the market at the moment. The top chamber here you're getting primary and secondary burn um, and you see the flames at the top are igniting in mid-air. That's the preheated secondary cut there coming in. And at this level, we're running at about 82% efficient. Here, by pressing this lever, we then direct the flue gases, which normally go up here, down through a, a double plate, which again ignites the volatiles again. And you'll see that by that there. So what's actually happening now is the flue gases that normally go up there are being directed down here and drawn down through here and back up to the flue there and it therefore is extracting the maximum amount of heat from the actual fuel it's burning. So we're running now at somewhere around about 93-95% efficiency. If it's a new build then they would need to put in an insulated flue system. If it's an existing property then um, depending on the state of the chimney uh, it might need relining. Uh, but we need relining and insulating because all of these stoves, because of the high efficiency, do need insulated flue systems because you're losing so little heat up the chimney. These stoves don't actually need an awful lot of maintenance. Um, the only thing, obviously, with any wood-burning stove or any fire, you should have the chimney swept at least twice a year. Certainly at the beginning of the season, um, you want to sweep it through just to make sure there's no bird's nests up there because obviously birds find the chimney very comfortable to, to, to nest in. Other than that, all of the stoves that we've been talking about are what we call clean burn stoves. And as you've seen, the glass stays very, very clean. You might um, occasionally just have to, with a cleaner, just wipe them over, uh, but that's about all. But you don't get heavy deposits on the glass. The only other thing is the ash, and um, with wood burning, with these, because of the complete combustion, um, you get very, very little ash. Um, this fire, has been, it's been working for six days at exhibitions. Um, to give you an idea, um, that's 
all of the ash that we've actually produced in those six days. Because the fire, because it burns, you know, com a complete combustion, it burns every ounce of energy out of the actual fuel, fuel that you're burning. So normally with a fire like this, you'd probably empty the ash pan out about every three to four weeks. And the same applies with the other appliances as well. Yes, many of the stoves now actually have turntables. Uh, this one here has one. So you can actually turn it 360 degrees. So depending on your room, you can actually direct the fire to the exact area that you're actually sitting in. Um, and as you can see, it turns very, very easily. Well, investment is the, the correct word for it because you can pay from anywhere from £2,000 and the sky is the limit um, to get a good quality stove installed. If you haven't got a chimney there, you're looking at the best part of £5,000. But if used correctly, it's a foreseeable payback to your investment. And if you compare it to other things like geothermal, wind and solar, that paybacks are mystically into 20, 30 years, if you use a wood-burning stove correctly, you could get a payback as quick as four or five years. So an investment is the correct word.